Okay, class. I'm going to be instructing you today on how to use the chain rule. And the chain rule basically says this. If you have a function that can be written as a composition function, then we know that the derivative is equal to f prime of u times u prime of x. And that's really what the chain rule says. It looks confusing. It is in many ways, but I hope to make it much easier for you. So, why do we use the chain rule? Well, for example, if I have f of x is equal to, say, 2x minus 5 plus x squared all to the 10th power, and you wanted to find f prime of x, well, then you would have to take 2x minus 5 plus x squared times 2x minus 5 plus x squared times 2x minus 5 plus x squared 10 times, and we multiply it out 10 times, you know, you're going to get a very, very large polynomial. In fact, it's going to start with, you know, x to the 20th and carry on and so forth, and you'll have, have to actually be able to take the derivative. I'm sorry, that won't be the derivative. That would just be f, f of x, and then you would have to take the derivative of all that. So, you know, f prime, well, that, that, that could just take forever. And they have an easier way of doing it. And really, what we do is we identify that this is u of x, our inside piece, and that this is our outside piece, f of u. And so we really look at an inside and an outside and try to work from there. So let's see if we can make some use of this. Okay. f of x. In order to find f prime of x, what I will do is I will take f prime of u times u prime of x. Where do we start? Well, let's start with the inside. That's my inside piece. That's my u of x. What's the derivative of 2x minus 3? It is 2. Now, let's look at the outside. That is taken to the 4th power. So I have u to the 4th. The derivative of that is 4u to the 3rd. I bring my 4 down and reduce the exponent by 1. So now I simplify this. I have 8u to the third. And as I put my u back in, I have 8 times 2x minus 3 to the third power. And so there we have it. That's my derivative. If it appears confusing, don't worry. We'll try a few more problems. Again, you want to see the inside and the outside. If it helps you, you could write the inside down. You know, like you could say, well, inside is x minus x squared. And outside is 6u to the fifth. You know, however you want to do that. Okay? So, as we go to work, we could say f prime of x is going to be equal to... The derivative of the, let's see, we have f prime of u times u prime of x. So, uh, u prime of x, that's the inside piece. The derivative is 1 minus 2x. <coughs> f prime of u be the derivative of that outside piece, 30u to the fourth. 
multiply those together, <coughs> and we have 30 times 1 minus 2x times u to the 4th. And remember, u is x minus x squared. So we have that to the 4th power. And that's my derivative. You could simplify it by saying 30 minus 60x times x minus x squared to the 4th power. So that's the derivative. So as opposed to having multiplied out 5 times, I simply just took, um, simply just had to use a chain rule. So that's why chain rule is so great. Chain rule also comes in very handy when we see uh, trigonometric functions. So if I have negative 4 secant of 5x squared, and again, you see that the inside part is 5x squared, uh, the outside part is negative 4 secant of u. And so again, I use my rule, f prime of x, going to be equal to f prime of u times u prime of x. So let's see how that works. We have u prime of x, so that would be the derivative of 5x squared, so 10x times the derivative of the outside, negative 4 secant of u. Well, derivative of secant is secant tan, so negative 4 secant of u, tangent of u. Well, that simplifies to negative 40 secant of 10x, tangent of 10x. Don't worry, parentheses around there, that's fine. That's our derivative. So again, you can see with trigonometric functions, it's a lot easier. Sometimes uh, we have to rewrite the polynomial uh, to be easier to work with. And in this case, I'm going to rewrite this polynomial as negative 5 times x plus 5 to the negative 7th power. Instead of using the quotient rule, we can use the chain rule. f prime of x is equal to f prime of u times u prime of x. I look for u prime of x, the derivative of the inside, which is 1. The derivative of the outside, 35u to the negative 8th. So I multiply, I have 35 over u to the 8th. <laughs> we remember that u is x plus 5. So that means I have 35 over x plus 5 to the 8th power. There you go. What if we have something that involves the product rule? You could tell that this is the product rule because we have a function times another function. And we have the chain rule for this part right here. So you have a couple things happening here. So let's start with the chain rule. Or I'm sorry, let's start with the product rule. The product rule says we take the derivative of the first one. F prime of x is going to be the derivative of 2x is 2, times the second part left alone, so 4 minus x to the fourth power, plus the first part left alone, which is 2x, times the derivative of the second. We need to figure out the derivative of 4 minus x to the fourth. 4 minus x to the fourth. Remember, we do f prime of u times u prime of x. u is the inside, the derivative of u prime of x. I'm sorry, the derivative of u of x will be negative 1. The derivative of the outside will be 4u to the third. To multiply those, we have negative 
u is 4 minus x. Do that to the third power. Times negative 4 times 4 minus x to the third power. So if you want to rewrite it, I guess we would have 2 times 4 minus x minus 8x times 4 minus x to the third power. Oh, and that was the fourth. So that's our derivative. So again, you had to use the uh, product rule and the chain rule. And finally, for our last example, we have sine squared of 3x. And I'm going to rewrite this to look like sine of 3x quantity squared. As I do the derivative of, as I do the derivative of <laughs> sine of 3x quantity squared, what I need to be able to do is uh, realize that I have to use the chain rule twice. You can see that I have 3x as an inside function, but I also have sine of uh, 3x as an inside function. So I need to be careful about this. So let's just start here. Let's do this. We have f prime of x is equal to f prime of u times u prime of x. I want to find that derivative. What I first do is I <laughs> find the derivative of the inside. Sine of 3x. Well, in order to find the derivative of sine of 3x, I need to use the chain rule. <laughs> so I start another one. <laughs> we look at the inside. The inside is 3x. The derivative is 3 times f prime of u. The derivative of the outside, or sine of u, would be cosine of u. So I end up with 3 cosine of u, which is 3x. So we just found out what u prime of x is, 3 cosine of 3x times the derivative of the outside. Well, the outside is u squared, so the derivative is 2u. What is u? In this case, u is the inside sine of 3x. We end up with 6 times sine of 3x times the cosine of 3x. And that's our derivative. The chain rule twice. Sometimes we have to use it twice if we have two inside pieces. Okay. Uh, hopefully you got it. Uh, we'll have some time to practice it. Good luck.